Ow. Good evening, I'm Rick Lord. And I'm Kelly Hart. New at 6 tonight, a family in Canal County loses nearly a lifetime of memories after fire wrecked their home. And it's also what they were preparing for that makes this loss even more incredible. Eyewitness News anchor Stefano DiPietrantonio has their story from Clendenin. A neighbor tells me she had just gotten home and everything looked okay when she passed her neighbor's house until she saw the thick black smoke pouring through this line of trees. This was supposed to be Regina and Alan Evers' dream retirement home. Both only months away from retiring, they had just built a new addition to the back, a deck and a sunroom overlooking the old Sandy Bray golf course. Both my boys were raised here. We lived here since 91 and it's the memories that we cherish most about being here. When gas prices got too high to commute, they bought a small home in South Charleston. It's one of the reasons for building the sunroom and, and the deck. We were going to sell the house in town and come move up here full time. Now, they're lucky to have a roof over their heads. So I don't think we're going to be able to do anything but uh, end up tearing it down and, and starting over. It took five fire companies to knock this down late Monday. Clendenin firefighters tell me there was some sort of massive power surge in the area, and that may have sparked this incredible fire here in their laundry room. Probably sparked in the fuse box and the main and somehow caught some of the paper products that were in the room, like the boxes holding the MREs, and, and it went from there. That room was packed. Th that room was packed with essentially MREs, canned goods, and some freeze-dried food. Enough food and supplies for them to live on for five years. A decision biblically driven, he tells me, doomsday prepping. But after the Lord comes back and raptures the church, uh, starting after that fifth year, then God's wrath is rained down on the earth, and uh, uh, that will be the end. I was spending about somewhere between 1000 to $1,500 a week for the last six years. This is so tough for you and your wife. Yeah, but that's a part of being a prepper, too. you got to have the right mental attitude to deal with situations and circumstances that don't end up going your way. His wife hopes people will pray for them. This is heartbreaking. And to look at their own insurance policies and update them so they don't suffer, too. And keep up with it, because otherwise uh, replacement costs will end up killing you. Their policy will likely not cover things like a massive antique clock collection nearly destroyed. The ever say what happened to them should be a wake-up call to any family who has not checked their homeowner's policy within the last five years. They say what their home was worth back then and what it and the contents might be valued at now, the family says they could be out as much as $100,000. In Clendenin, Stefano DiPietro Antonio, Eyewitness News.